this plugin is basically meant for simple stuff like this. Um, just run it and say 22 and then you'll get nice subby corners. Um, let's see, we could, yeah. Now the thing is, if you want to stuff like this, I mean, make some funky geometry to this object, it's not always that easy. I mean, it, it does depend a bit on what you want, so you could go like that, and then you could uh, go like this, I guess. Sometimes it's just easier to run this plugin and go like that. Less clutter. Uh, does leave junk points, but just run a script to get rid of it. Seems like it didn't get rid of it. That's strange. Or did it? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. So from there on, you know, just keep on modeling. But it's really meant for more simple stuff like this. So you just create. Um, Simple, simple uh, subby corners for that kind of stuff. At times, you usually want to use rounder instead, but it doesn't really work for for the examples I showed right now. It doesn't really work. Rather, it doesn't really work on end gons or open shapes like. <clears throat> oh, it's a bad shape. Or, you know, it doesn't make, work on shapes like this. Well, I mean, I could try. Rounder and then, yeah, nope. So, at times you could use rounder instead. Oh, sorry. So, for example, for this one, you know, you could do something like that. You could also use the plugin. The problem with the plugin, it, it, it doesn't really. Undo's are, are a problem because you got, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 operations just for this model. So if I try to undo now, it's going to take forever and not work. It's going to be too many undo operations. So just be aware of that. But yeah, you can use sub D corners or sub D hold corners that plug in for this as well. So you just go like that and. Yeah, model something. Okay. Oh, yeah. Be sure to get rid of junk points. So use a script for that. You get the idea. So here it is. Sub D hold corners. 